Hello guys. So this week I'm going to talk about a feature that is uh, extremely simple and very helpful that I have seen and used uh, for a lot of times but I never bothered to look into how it works. So let's say I'm filling in a form here and I update uh, values in the form. So once I finish updating, I can be able to save my changes. But if I close this window without saving, I get prompted with this. Uh, changes you made might not be saved uh, while trying to leave the site. So should you leave or should you cancel leaving the site? And you'll see the dialogue if you refresh the page also, for example. That is anytime you're trying to leave the page when you have unsaved changes. So how do I implement such a useful feature uh, for my own forms, for example? So first of all, this uses an inbuilt browser API uh, called uh, the before and load event, which is an event listener on the window object. So this is the most important sentence here. The main use case for this event is to trigger a browser generated confirmation dialogue that asks users to confirm if they really want to leave the page when they try to close or reload it or navigate somewhere else. This is intended to help prevent loss of unsafe data so you can trigger the dialogue by calling the event object prevent default method and then setting the return value property to an empty string value or any other truthy value or you can also return any truthy value from the event handler function so you can return an unempty string for example and if you look at the browser compatibility this is available on most on all browsers so anyway let's see if we can implement the same thing in our react project so i've taken the liberty of implementing a simple form here so a form with an on submit handler and an input with the on change event handlers which are when updated update our form state uh, state variables here so we want uh, if uh, any of these values have been changed we make sure that we show that dialogue uh, to prevent the user from losing the local state okay so let's attach the event handlers so we can do so in a use effect hook so let's set up the use effect hook with the uh, no dependencies so the dependency array should be empty okay so let's set up uh, the event listeners so we're going to use the before and load event listeners so window dot uh, add event listener so you are listening to the before a load event listener which should be handled by a say handle close function and then as usual make sure that uh, we clean up the event listener when the component unmounts so let's implement our handle close function here so here it is so this is just a function that prevents the event listener from carrying out its uh, default behavior and also sets the return value so they say the return value should be an unempty string so this can be anything maybe you can say are you sure so something like that and also we want this uh, event listener to be executed if uh, our state value variables have changed so let's uh, just do it here add uh, the form state uh, to our use effect hook and then inside our function we just check if either of the properties have values so if uh, the form state uh, dot name or dot message have values we set the return value and also we call the prevent default function of the event handler so otherwise it will close if you have made no changes if you have made changes then it will prevent from closing so i don't know if you can call this is an empty string so let's try so if you enter a name for example and uh, try to reload we'll get that dialog by default so as far as i know you cannot actually change what is displayed here everything is chosen by the browser that you are using so you can't change this value so if i cancel reload then my state remains the way it is if i reload and uh, actually reload then i lose my state so if i reload uh, after changing nothing i'll be able to reload so if i enter a message try to reload it will still prompt me with that dialogue and that is all it takes to implement uh, this simple but very important functionality so all we need is uh, these few lines here so if we don't set the return value let's see if uh, it actually breaks so some browsers you just need to call a event or prevent default and you'll get the dialogue you don't need to add a return value so what about uh, firefox let's see how firefox functions so if you enter a value and try to reload so firefox also functions similarly yes you don't need to add the return value so again you also get a generic message here so the browser will just know how to handle it but to be safe make sure you add the return value to the event listener or maybe some browsers may not check for both of them or for one of them so this week's tip is a very simple tip if uh, you're using 
forms in your app somewhere make sure to implement some sort of method to save the user's data if the browser closes accidentally i think even if you try to close the browser the dialogue will stop you from closing the browser so it's a very important uh, feature so thank you so much for watching i hope you learned something new today